Idris Abdul Karim says President Buhari is the re Yahoo boy. Idris Abdul Karim is a Nigerian hip hop singer. Born Idris Turayo Abdul Karim Ajenifuja to a polygamous family in Kano, Nigeria. His father was from Malaysia, Oshun State, and his mother was from Ogun State. Raised in Kano, he adopted Kano State as his state of origin. Nigerian legend singer Idris Abdul Karim has likened President Buhari as the re Yahoo boy who is stylishly stealing the country's money. After the president approved the sum of 36 billion naira for National Assembly's renovation, according to the singer, he took to his Instagram to salute the re Yahoo boy as he called him for taking such a drastic step in approving such huge amount of money. Please salute the original Yahoo boy. Now, wow, 36 billion naira for National Assembly's renovation. Hey, wow, hey, whoa. 36 billion naira. Hey, what can I see? I'm just shouting. Hey, <laughs> 36 billion naira. Hmm, re Yahoo boy. Honestly, this uh, Abdul Karim, he get mine though. Is very very bold, and that's just the way it is. You know, you cannot be hurting, and you are afraid somebody is hurting you. For him to have said that he's hurting, and I know a lot of you are hurting, you are pained. And what can you do? You can't do anything, it's just for you to talk, say it the way it is. You can't do anything, and that's why they, they came up with a uh, one proposal. Now they rejected it. In my own opinion, whether they rejected it or they accepted it, this uh, six years. Uh, a single term for governors and the presidents. Whether they rejected it, whether they approved it, it doesn't make any difference because with what they are doing now, we have seen nothing. We have not seen what they are doing. We have not seen any meaningful development. Just just moving around circles. I always tell people that there is no government that does not involve in one project or the other. It's a given. But what is the degree, degree of the uh, project they are doing? That we have a very huge impact, positive one, in the lives of the people, even at, in the nation at large. That is what we are talking about. There is no government, cut me anyway, there is no government that does not involve in one project or the other. But we are talking of a government that will do something spectacular that even the old world, all the countries in the old world, they will want to come to Nigeria. That is the kind of uh, transformation that we want in this country. Not all this say uh, yeah yeah. I always call it so yeah 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 yeah. They don't they amount to nothing. It's a normal thing. They will just do one or two things. Let's just you know do something so that it won't be as if we don't do anything. There is no government. If you want to say that that oh this one did this, this one did that. So whatever they are doing now is inconsequential. Like I always ask that question. Nobody has even answered me even from the comment section. In the scale of one to ten, how do you rate them? That's what we are talking about. If somebody is between seven and nine. Even if you can have 10, good and fine. Because some, some people tell you, oh, even uh, your, your teacher cannot even give you 100%. But if a, a, a student deserves it, the student will be giving 100%. That is just the way it is. But let us say, okay, you know, just not to be too greedy. Between 7 and 9, that is when, when somebody is between that uh, uh, scale. That is where you will know that you are doing something. Even the blind will see it. Even the deaf will hear it, that this is what you are doing. Know that you are just between one and three and people will just be jubilating and be celebrating and you guys will be coming out and be priding yourself. Oh, we have done this. We have done that. The one that even hangers me, the one that, you know, gets me really, really so crazy is this issue of a uh, school feeding. You are talking of education. We are talking of education. You are, you are talking of feeding. And billions of Naira. They spent billions of Naira on that thing alone. And yet, what is the... A side effect of that millions or billions you have spent, you talk of education. The education uh, 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 background of those children or the uh, uh, qualification has they improved? No! It's still the same thing. Were you able to train the teachers? No! Do you even pay them as at when do you? No! The, the facilities they are learning from, how is it it's so, it's, it's rubbish. We can start, we can start posting them. We, it's all over the all over the internet. So what are we talking about? Billions of naira. They will tell you, oh, eh, eh, this thing, what is it called? That because of that program, some farmers, some people are employed and all of that. If you want to go into agriculture, let us know that we are facing agriculture. Don't use the pot to rob Peter. If you are going into farming, if you are, if you are 
spending or you are you know investing into farming good and fine let's face that one if you are investing in the education good and fine but you cost something you know a school feeding concerning education and yet we cannot see education it's just for them they will eat and finish and shit finish and that's it after shitting what happened that after happens what have they learned nothing did you even spend or did you contribute to their high queue Educational wise, nothing. They will just eat, finish, and go to the toilet, and that's that ends, and that's the end. And you come and tell us that a uh, uh, school feeding, and uh, some people uh, were employed, uh, some caterers, some farmers, uh, uh, how many eggs a day, a month, where many cows we take? What nonsense! What of a uh, agri go into agriculture? That one is a different thing. People will be they will be employed in that area. If you are going to other things, they will be employed there. They will get that whatever the economy will be. Where when you talk about education, you can't be telling us we spend billions of naira and yet nothing is coming out, out of those children. And the same thing now they are spending thirty seven billion naira for innovation. Clap, let them clap for themselves. And that's why Idris is saying this man is the real Yahoo boy that we are talking about. Yahoo boy, are they really prudent? They are not prudent. They will lock everywhere for you that you must stay back. They've told you that the youth, you must stay back and make sure that you work out the progress of your motherland. Can they say the same thing to their children? Can they say the same thing to themselves? They have been eating fat, feeding fat from the government. Majority of them, all these are politicians, right from when they were young up to today. They are about to enter their grave. By the time they get to 100 years, 200 years, maybe by the time they spend 100 or 20, 200 years, okay, See that and they will still be eating, they will still be eating from the government. For how long? The guy just called it the way it is. Very, very pathetic. We are just wasting money. Wasting money. That is why we are not even progressing. Because something and, and this kind of a thing started from the government. Because I just found out that it is just like the rave of the mate. Somebody will be telling you, oh, maybe the person wants to help you to get something. If the something is one thousand naira, the person will put his own. He will put maybe he will tell you two thousand five before you do what you want. You say okay, okay, I can help you. Maybe I will, I will go to another place. To but meanwhile, the thing originally is one thousand naira because this thing started from the government. Something they will do. Go and ask. Uh, go and listen to what uh, Peter will be. You know most of his lectures about governance. That he will. They will say oh, or oh God, this is this thing. This uh, he made use of an uh, example of uh, this a uh, uh, photocopy. Something that they do photocopy, maybe for uh, uh, 1,000 naira, that they will come back and give him the the quotation. They will be putting 10,000. He said, but even before I came into government, I know what is happening. I know what is in an area. He they go, he they, they, they know everything. How can you be giving me this kind of a uh, quotation? You go to the other street. This is how much they do it. And that's why, that was why they hated that man. They would not say Aka Gum. They call him Aka Gum. That is so stingy. You know, you go and listen to when one of his any of his lectures. You know, they are on YouTube. You you will hear a lot of things. That is where it comes from. Something that can they will, that will cost one thousand naira. They will inflate it to hundred thousand naira. And we we all of them know they will try to put it in, inside into budget. Nobody wants to say, ah, but this thing is not like this inside the market. Why is it so expensive? All of them will share it, even if they are going to renovate this uh, national assembly. In my my own estimation, let me just let me use my inner mind. I know you should use your own inner mind. As this thing is 37 billion naira now, maybe it will not even be up to 1 billion naira. Okay, let's just, you know, let's just not to be strict. Let's say 10, it could, maybe it could be 10 billion or even 5 billion. Maybe I'm too, I'm too generous. Let's just say between 1 to 10 billion. And this one we are getting 37 billion. And that is just the way it is. That is just the way it is because you can't tell me what to use 37 billion naira. No. It's not that is not the way it is. So this uh, inflation starts from the government, and they will just sign it. Now them then now you know upper and lower uh, chamber and the executive they are not then them. Not then they forget all of those things. And that's why the guy say yes, no. Nari this man Nari Yahu boy. Ah, made a clap for her. Made a clap for her. That's good. And someone says here, yeah, ha ha ha. That is why I like you. You hit him so hard on this one. He is the real scam man. I have ever known. This person is really commending Abdul Karim for what he has said. I think you should do Nigeria Jaga Jaga remix. Feature the like of a, a Dremo and Naira Mali. Hmm, somebody laugh. But wait, oh bro. Now so life be be you campaign. Be you campaign with your friend. Show or for hashtag revolution now. And all these days we can't see you. Our market. I don't know what this person is talking about. I say, hmm, this major general, why? 
What will it take you if you are building new one, Uncle? You better use two trillion to build new one. Hmm, general, why? 37 billion naira. Yes, so oh. where is it so? Oh? Where is it to so stupid EFCC and the so called SAS men? And they will go and be arresting, they should go and arrest a GMB. Where are they? Where are they? That's what this person is trying to ask. Ask me, oh, what are they even doing in that National Assembly? That's a good question. What are they even doing? Beautiful nonsense. Beautiful nonsense because if, in as much you are there and you are collecting all manner of whatever and the people that you are representing and are living in abject poverty, you are doing beautiful nonsense there. That's just the way it is. You can't tell, come and tell us oh, you are you are you are working tirelessly, working around the clock because of us, and we are we are living in poverty. See, go on, forget all those uh, estates or all those uh, private estates that people are staying or some people just bring themselves together. They will say they are in an estate or this and that. Forget, go to the nitty gritty, go to the areas, go to the main places where Nigerians are residing. You will, that is when you see the true picture of this country. That is where you now know whether you are really working in that national assembly or not. So, guys, uh, that is just my own opinion, you know, based on what a uh, Abdul Karim has said. Leave your own comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.